quick, stop what you're doing right now. I need your help. Help me name these buildings on the screen right now. I need help naming them. We're gonna name them for the next upcoming episode. So not this episode, but the next one. So we have dorms that we have to name, apartment complexes. I'm gonna create custom signs. So get all of your names in below. Drop them down in the comment section. Pause this part of the video. But thank you guys so much. Let's get into episode 11. Welcome back to another episode of Cranberry County City Skyline series from yours truly design candy. Welcome back. This is episode number 10, episode 11, episode 11, almost messed that up. <laughs> so hopefully you guys will uh, drop your suggestions down below. I really want a lot of suggestions. I want this comment section to be filled with suggestions uh we are this episode will probably drop the last day or the first day of february 2020 so if you're watching and binge watching in the future do not bother actually bother put some uh, suggestions still if you're watching this in 2021 put some suggestions down below in the comment section actually i think it would be a really cool thing to do so like do that for me <laughs> so let's get into today's episode and what we are building, we are starting and finishing the official central campus. So, or finishing the central campus. Uh, last episode, we did the first part of the central campus. It's the front part, if you will. And now this is the back part. So in theory, this would be the oldest section of Cranberry University, the central campus. This campus would have been built first. The West Campus was the start probably three or four episodes ago. So this is the oldest section of the university. And it's one of the most vast sections. We are actually using a set of assets that are for a trade school. So I think we have just a bunch of trades. We have like a police academy uh like a school of beauty things like that very trade specifics but as you all know cranberry county does not discriminate in education it has all of the above it's a one shop spot for education it's a true major university in this small small town of cranberry county if you think about it it's structured to be like that small town in the middle of nowhere no density not a big city you know university just in the middle of nowhere so this will be officially the final build episode of cranberry university we're gonna wrap it up we've been going strong man we have i mean i think we started episode number six five or six and now we're at episode 11 so it's been a great journey Hopefully there's some replay value. You guys go back to the first episode when we started on the West Campus and check those episodes out because everything should make sense now. All the binge watchers, hopefully you're enjoying the, the creation of this university. Uh, I certainly have. It's been a struggle to get more details and more detail oriented in this series, specifically in this university. Uh, just the, with timing and just trying to come up with fresh ideals and just filling it out. I, I, I big time struggle with how big these builds are that I do in city skylines versus a detailed build, right? Meaning how can I fill a bunch of space, but balance the details of that space. A great example is on the screen right now, right? So we're putting down fences and different foliage and detailing a parking lot, right? But it's not true detailing for me. True detailing would be adding more fences and cracks in the road and making the road look distressed and maybe some trash cans and fences around the trash can. So things like that, I kind of have to leverage and pick and choose where I want to add the most detail. Uh, and, and kind of make a decision. So I really appreciate you guys' patience in that. And 
yeah, it's kind of the thing that I go through, but it's super fun. I'm not complaining. I actually love doing it and I pick and choose on when to do it. And hopefully the result turns out overall in totality. You can see, which means in total, <laughs> you can see, you know, what is created and kind of have an appreciation for it. So quick rant. Love it. <laughs> Let's get into this episode. So, okay. Central campus, central campus features everything, trade school, music schools, uh, police academy that type of deal right so this is the more lively campus uh the the dormitories we built last episode go check that out and so now this is just like the the administration buildings the the classroom buildings all the specialized buildings come now there's a couple cool techniques that i use in this episode hopefully you guys enjoy it it was an interesting build because i'm really trying to fill space and whenever i try to feel space get ready because I clip everything into each other just to make it look vast and big right make it look realistic uh, to scale of what we built in general so the first part of this episode is mainly plopping and placing down these buildings and getting all the paths right so all the students can access that and make really strategic passageways so Obviously, you can like cut through and get to your class on time. You don't have to like walk all the way around uh, streets. That would suck if I was in co this college and you had to walk straight through streets. I would die because if you had like a say you had like an 8 a.m. class on the, the West Campus and you live on Central, you know, like that would just be nuts. Here's a cool technique that I've used uh, before, and this actually turned out pretty well. Uh, this building kind of overlaps the road and it looks really cool in the cinemax so make sure to check that out but yeah like i was saying if you had college and you just have this massive university we need to do like a bus system i think that would be cool it definitely will be off campus i don't know should it be off campus let me know what you think down below questions suggestions comments in general but specifically if we do maybe we save that for some sort of small town transportation episode i don't know because I know that coming soon, so if you're watching this far, we're about 10 minutes into this episode, maybe a little bit longer, shorter, I don't know, it's, it's off, but we're a little bit ways into this episode. So here's a little teaser. We are going to do the airport probably starting in the next two episodes. Uh, next episode will be a recap. Okay, so here's my schedule. And we're gonna plan this out while we're hanging out, chatting and watching this time lapse. I loosely next episode will be the big university tour we're gonna first person feel the view all the way close so it looks realistic and looks like we're walking on campus all the way through the university that's going to be next episode make sure you get your names comments suggestions in or excuse me names specifically comments and suggestions as always but get your names in for these buildings because you'll be able to see your custom sign as we walk through the university okay so that's next episode the episode after will be the prison and you can see the prison in the background i'll give you guys a little easter egg whenever the camera tilts down the prison is actually already built so if you pause right here if you're looking to the right and you pause right there, you can see the prison. So the prison is already created so right behind. See, I keep I keep moving towards it. So that's gonna be the next episode. Massive, massive build, but it's only gonna take one episode. I'm gonna cut a lot of stuff out. So make sure you just check the cinematics for that. Now, after that, that's the airport episode. So make sure you stay tuned, stick tuned. But I don't know why we even started talking about that. Why we even started talking about that? Oh, airport's next. So yeah, that's just the, the loose schedule for Cranberry County. Now let's move over, zip, 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 over to Hawthorne Springs, my other series, specifically all downtown. We're gonna do an airport in that. That's gonna be pretty far away, but the next episode in Hawthorne Springs should premiere in the next few days. It's gonna be the art district. This will come out before the art district, so make sure you check out Hawthorne Springs, massive art district, cool buildings, foliage, big open spaces, big plazas. We build big, tall buildings. It's fun. Check that out. And then after that, we will be working on like another university build in the big city. So 
that is the loose design candy schedule i hope you guys are enjoying uh, all the series on the channel and i'm trying to just bring high quality content to your phones to your ears to your your listening devices i know a lot of people i know specifically one person that listens to these so i really appreciate you guys all the people that listen or however you consume this content so i really appreciate you guys uh the website stuff's coming soon we're gonna delay that just a little bit i'm working on some merch uh some some design candy merch we're gonna be the hashtag candy fam out in these streets it's gonna be so fun because people are gonna ask you why you have a piece of candy on an article of clothing and you're just gonna laugh and it's gonna be an inside joke to all of the hashtag candy fam so we are definitely working on that coming soon probably in the next few episodes make sure you're checking out all social media okay we're pivoting back to what's on the screen right now we are dialing in this new neighborhood so in in my weird twisted way i couldn't continue with this episode and detailing without having like a foundation of what's around this central campus so again the theory is this campus was built first so this side of the university was built first and then the west campus was built now the west campus is very modern it has more newer university type buildings it has that whole food truck like circle it has all the stadiums it has the arena you know it's the premier spot in this university so this side is the older houses the greek life the apartments things like that so we're dialing in what the you know what the neighborhood around the university would actually look like a lot of this will be student housing a lot of these will be like party streets and more student housing you know with 17 roommates in one <laughs> in one house don't worry I have that experience <laughs> going over people's houses it's like how many people live in these university houses like straight up is there that many people because you have the upstairs the middle the first floor the basement and everybody has like bunk bed you know cheap rent university man you gotta have that cheap cheap rent so a lot of my viewers i know for a fact are not in university so that's what you have to uh look forward to <laughs> when you go this roommates 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 but uh this side of the neighborhood really needed some sort of fire station uh, we had a big fire demand and that's what we're doing and it's fun too once i detail one of these services i literally just copy and paste them everywhere on the map so everywhere in cranberry county will have this fire station look <laughs> once we detail one we can detail them all so let's go into some questions and suggestions that y'all have let's see there was a really good question uh that somebody was getting me on so bear with me this is massive we're gonna read the whole thing big shout out to you big red crazy k uh big red crazy k says okay we got problems sir as a former soccer player that has been to many different stadiums across the u.s and a few overseas this build has issues for starters never is a soccer pit sunken unless it's indoors and even then it's extremely rare spin spending the money to flatten the terrain is a big enough endeavor no one would dig out a massive pit to put sporting fields below ground level that would simply never happen in the real world for finance from a financial standpoint this can be overlooked because it's a cool idea and looks neat at least i can give you kudos for the design oh, thank you really appreciate it and i'm reading this very dramatically a uh, big red crazy i'm not like being condescending i actually really really appreciate your suggestion your comment let's continue what cannot be overlooked is the layout just like any other arena the bleachers would span the entire pitch all the way around the outside not just in one corner you'd also never find fields that close together with goes back to back like that more bleachers would be separating them so that a game on one side wouldn't disturb the other. The next issue is that you need space between the edge of the fields and the retaining walls for out of bounds. When the ball goes out, gameplay stops and the opposite team must throw it back in play, 
with the current layout, it appears that they just kick it off of the wall and keep playing. Six to 10 feet of space would be enough, but it needs to be there to look real. Basically, the soccer pitch needs to be expanded and reworked. Sure, it sucks to have to redo it because I'm sure you put a lot of effort into it, but it's just not realistic and completely breaks in immersion. If that's what you're going for, fine, but personally, I couldn't be satisfied with knowing it's not right. Thank you so much, Big Red Crazy. I did have a rebuttal. Uh, I said, thank you so much for the feedback, I agree. I think it's more of an intramural open space that they play soccer rather than a professional field. Maybe if Cranberry County had a soccer team, they would play at the big football stadium question. Thanks for the comment and for watching. Uh, big Red replied and said, so my retort would be, why invest in a sunken soccer pitch if your school doesn't have a team to play on what's the point of it soccer is not played on a football field they are different dimensions but also have completely different markings and goal posts the fact that you took time to build an expensive soccer pitch right next to the school means your university has a team that plays on it it would not be there otherwise and becomes a pilot hole of the world you're creating you have to stick to the story you're laying out i really appreciate it. see this is cool i love dialogue not offended hopefully he's not offended this is super fun i love it love it love it i saw two dollars twenty big shout out to two dollars twenty uh love all this stuff if you guys are halfway interested in my stuff his stuff is 20 million times better so go check him out but he has like a wiki for his series i think that would be really cool if anybody's interested in even exploring that let me know in the comment section. Uh, but I think it's really cool that people like you guys care so much about like the story and how things work. So my justification behind the soccer field. And if you don't know what he's talking about, go check out at least check out the last episode and just check out the cinematic. So you can fast forward from the beginning or watch like the first like 30 seconds of the episode or fast forward to the last 30 seconds of the episode and you'll see uh, what we Big Red Crazy and me are referring to. So a couple things. I attended university in the States and that's where this build actually comes from specifically with that sunken soccer. And the justification behind it was it was just a green space for intramural leagues and just an open space and so i while while i understand that uh realism is like a big thing specifically for this university but for me that is realistic to have an open green space with soccer markings right you can still have soccer markings an open green space that can be used for anything and even the bleachers our intramural fields had bleachers you know connected to it and so yeah i think that having the sunken piece was just like a cool mixed use green space maybe it's an oversight maybe i'll take the soccer field out completely because i think that that solves uh at least big red crazy's concerns and just have an open green space but also to address uh the the soccer concern you can still use a football stadium so the university that i went to used our football stadium for soccer even though the markings were different they just painted new markings on the football field and i think they took away some of the barriers or whatever but the configuration was perfect and you know they converted the football field to a soccer field so i don't think that that's not common but in nonetheless i really really appreciate that dialogue and that comment um thank you so much big red crazy for the suggestions I don't take those uh, lightly and I really appreciate it, man. The next comment comes from David plays underscore R B L X. David says, I took notes on what a fairly good accomplishment of the county should be. After finishing these accomplishments, I think you're well above 50% done with the series and I can't wait for more. Uh, David says more housing, public transportation of some kind, more gas stations, public schools, health clinics, hospitals, a pharmacy, drugstore, sanitation system, a police force, a fire department, shops. Oh, that's funny. He said fire department, by the way. Taxi transportation system, parks, libraries, hotels, gyms, tourist attractions, zoos, 
skyscrapers, national parks, banks, train, transportation system, farms, main airport, and recommend small airport trips for farming use or other uses. Man, thank you so much, David. I love this, man, because I'm going to steal a couple of these things. Um, yeah, let's go through them. We have housing. We need more public transportation. We do not have. We have a bunch of gas stations. Uh, we do have public schools in every neighborhood. We have health clinics, no hospitals. That is coming. Pharmacy and drug stores. We have a bunch of those. Check out the first episode. Uh, sanitation system. We have that. I just haven't shown it. Police force. We have that. Fire department was this episode. Shops. We have taxi. We probably won't have a taxi system out in a county. I don't think that they would have that. Maybe like Uber, but uh, parks, tons of those. We have libraries. Hotels, that's a good one. We probably have a hotel on the main street that we built a couple episodes ago. Uh, gems, tourist attractions. I do want to do a zoo. Uh, he suggests skyscrapers. We probably won't do skyscrapers. National parks, I love that. $2.20 just did a national park, and I'm definitely going to study up on that. I think that would be really cool in the mountain ranges in Cranberry County. So thank you for that. I love that. Uh, banks, we have a bank in Main Street. Uh, train transportation system that is coming. We actually do have a train line and I do want to do a big transportation train type deal uh, where we do like a not like a union station, but kind of like a union station, like a main county terminal farms definitely coming soon and main airport, which we just talked about. That's definitely coming soon. So, man, that, those are really good suggestions. Anybody else? that has suggestions, make sure you put them down below in the comment section. I love this and I rely on y'all on what to build next. I seriously do. So let me know down in the comment section exactly what I should build next. I'm going to wrap up this episode here. Uh, the one thing I will cut out, you're going to kind of see it now very loosely, but we're just filling in this area with some more housing. Uh, I use techniques of move it, the move it mod and we copy and paste uh, just the housings, the, the houses that we have already pre-selected on the left and the right side. So we are moving on. Thank you guys so much. Make sure you check out next episode. That's going to be our big university tour. And again, I'm going to put it on the screen right now. Boom, boom. Make sure you guys get your comments and suggestions down below, specifically comments about what I should name these buildings for the university we're going to create custom signs with cranberry university branding and once we do our big tour you can see your name or your suggestion on one of these buildings or outside one of these buildings so thank you guys so much for watching this is cranberry county episode number 11 all the binge watchers episode number 12 is up for everybody who watches weekly next week make sure you stay tune or stick tune stay tuned one of those things thank you guys so much for watching i'll see you in the next one peace